from paradise. I'm heading out next door to Cafe Tuakata to get real coffee. I'm um, still 7 o'clock. I think they just opened at 7. Um, and it's gonna be a much better day today. with the coffee. One thing that I overlooked during this trip is the problem with mosquitoes because everywhere I go on either Rarotonga and Aitutaki there's a lot of mosquitoes everywhere and even in some of the cafes and restaurants especially if they are in the outdoor setting they will have a mosquito repellent and that is um, a very handy thing to have. The plan is to do a scuba diving which is I'm uh, very excited about. Hey puppy! Hello, I'm Halif. I'm Amy. Nice Amy, to nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. Got here in Murray Beach and now it's Pacific Divers. I uh, just get myself the equipment that I need and we're gonna head out here pretty soon. It's gonna be a good diving day. <laughs> Arrive on the boat. Enjoying our cup of Milo. Get 30 minute break here before our second dive.
that concludes uh, the day of diving. It was um, actually started getting pretty cold, although the water temperature was 26 degrees. It is definitely a very unique sight. There's a few things that I've never seen anywhere in the world before. One of the major one is the ghost coral. So it's a soft coral, but as soon as you start getting close to them, they just turn in completely white. I've never seen anything like that before. A bunch of nudibranch. I'm so excited about nudibranch. Uh, unfortunately, it's only one species. And another thing is the uh, hard coral that is very big. And they're just gray and looks like Darth Vader helmet. Spotted a few moray eels and also parrotfish. A bunch of triggerfish. And then we actually saw a loggerhead turtle at the second dive. So right now, I'm about to have lunch, uh, just right behind me here is a Trader Jack's and I was told by my dive master earlier they have really good pizza, so I'm gonna see what they have. which is fresh local fish marinated in Maoke lime juice mixed with coconut cream, fresh vegetable and served with steamed taro and also flat white because I feel like coffee is so it's a good thing to have during lunch. that I'm still a bit confused about is the tipping policy here on Cook Islands. I talked to a lot of locals, Kiwi and Australians, and they said they do not expect uh, any tips uh, on restaurants like this. But every time I pay with a card, they always come up a bill and a gratuity or a tip column always appears. And I was suggested by a lot of people just to ignore it. Supposedly Cook Islands don't accept tips. Uh, but today, hopefully it will be a good day. Oh, hi! It's a dog. Oh, where's the dog? The dog right there. And my flip-flops is kind of squeaky. Can you hear it?